kind of funny today. I was expecting a shipment and it said they were delivering it with Canada Post. And basically, again, just seemed like no one rang the bell or anything like that. And so they left a slip and apparently the slip they left me wasn't even mine. It was like for some other resident. One thing I did get during the sale was this thing, like it's like a whistle and a compass and stuff all in one. I figured, well, why not? Since I walk so much and stuff and it might be useful in a case of emergency sometimes, can't be always digital, right? I think it has like what, a thermometer, a magnifying glass, a whistle and a compass basically built into this thing. Not too bad, just for a few dollars. Although the sound of this whistle doesn't sound like a whistle that I would hear normally, but they said this is the proper way it should sound. I was like, what? Ugh, really hurts the ear. I guess I'll be good for emergencies for the drone too, in a situation where you want people to clear, right? Like if it's falling or something like that. And I was reading a bunch of articles today that talked about how the company Parrot is exiting some of the drone market. It says Parrot exits the toy drone market. The French drone maker continues to shift away from the consumer sales which are dominated by DJI. France's Parrot has left the toy drone market, a spokesperson for the company confirmed to The Verge on Friday. Parrot has stopped the production and development of any drone but the NAFI and its variations. The spokesperson said adding to that company no longer has any Mambo or Swing drones in stock, though some are available through resellers. Parrot's been making these mini drones for years, since well before it launched its flagship Bebop and Anafi drones. But while the consumer drone market is booming, it's also dominated by DJI, which makes up about three quarters of the global sales. With that in mind, Parrot has actually spent the last few years shifting the focus of its core business to commercial drone solutions. That reminds me of that other news before, if you guys might remember where they got the military contract, I guess where they wanted commercial drone companies to reconfigure their drones to work for military purposes because they wanted a turnaround cycle kind of like smartphones they said. It's kind of funny because a lot of people say you should start with those toy like drones like say the Tello and stuff but for myself I just went straight with like the Mavic Pro for example because I wanted to capture aerial footages and stuff of things when I go to hikes. I don't know to me it seems almost better to start like with just the drone that you want like in that sense because a lot of the I guess you can say quote toy drones they don't fly the exact same way as well like you could say the other ones they don't have like as better GPS positioning and all that because for myself playing video games and stuff it just seems so similar with the way you use the controls and everything I guess that's kind of too bad because I guess the more variety the better basically the competition pushes each other to innovate a lot faster and in this case though, I guess most people would buy things like the Anafi and stuff like that. Like I know for myself, I would be looking at those cool toy drones anyways. And even from pictures I've seen online, a lot of adults or parents give the kids, like just for example, things like a Mavic or a Phantom to fly, like for the first time anyways.
Hey, see you guys later.